one of the things that we were doing in middle school was always having a title page, so there was some kind of connection to the artwork that I presented at the beginning, but there was also an opportunity to develop an insight into specific scripts or fonts. So, every, so when I was teaching class seven and eight, every new main lesson I did, I would introduce a different font and a different script so they would have um, an opportunity to experiment with their own handwriting. So particularly in early, early adolescence, you have the self-discovery that comes with artwork and the experimentation with handwriting. Well, what kind? I mean, I can remember at that age I was experimenting. Am I going to slope my handwriting in the same way as my father, or am I going to copy my mother's handwriting? I, I remember experimenting, uh, but and by providing the, the students with the opportunities of different scripts, it's, it's an experiment in development of character as much as anything else, and, and artwork. Um, so, so I always used to do a, a title page and, and, and really with an attention to, to great care and detail. And there's always, always a challenge with main lesson books if you are preparing them as a textbook. Wh where are your corrections? Where are your marking? So in terms of, 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 of written work, um, how do you balance the need for a, dra a corrected draft and then a best piece? And, um, and I've done it in various different ways with various different levels of satisfaction. Um, usually there's a compromise and I think that um, towards, towards the end I was, I, I was favouring an approach where the, um, where the pristine beauty of the main lesson book often took priority over of a demonstrated progress. And one of the things that we need to do in terms of our own evaluation of effective teaching is demonstrating progress. But if you're using a main lesson book which is really pristine and the teacher is restrained in marking, then that's a little bit of attention and a little bit of challenge. One of the things I will say about that though is that at the very beginning of the main lesson, we will often do a session on formative assessment. So we will often bring, bring forward things that we'd learned in previous main lessons. And this is, this is the idea of the golden thread. And it's another distinctive difference in Steiner Waldorf education where, where you have a, a class teacher, ideally, with a class for eight years, although it often doesn't go for eight. And so it's the same teacher, the same group of children, discovering different subjects. So you have an incredible opportunity with that to do interdisciplinary linking. Do you remember when we did that and how it linked to this? And you can tie things together in an incredibly powerful way. You can also tie things together in terms of what you'd previously learned. So with formative assessment, it's like, well, what are we going to be looking for as a good main lesson book? And it may be within that you're actually bringing, um, bringing ideas of, um, of edited work. So this is my first version, this is my second version, and then this is my best. So I think that if you're, if you're clever, that you can actually work with demonstrating progress and still achieve a pristine main lesson book that the students are proud of.